I, I do think there was a time when mm-hmm. I took my concern over aesthetic too mm-hmm. far. What? It's, and it is in the notes as Justin's CRT Kool-Aid drinking face. Justin. Sir. And I, and I are, think there was... Are you implying that sometimes you get a little too obsessed with a new idea or hobby? It's rare. Yeah. But it... How many tackle it, boxes full of Digimon do you have? I don't have to answer your questions, Saturn, okay? I'm not on fucking trial here. And it's two. I have two tackle boxes full of Digimon. Um, so, for a while there, I did go down the CRT rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. And at my peak, I had five tubes. I had a 19-inch Sony PVM, a 27-inch Sanyo, a 36-inch uh-huh. Trinitron, a 13-inch RCA with a built-in VCR, and a GDM FW900 monitor. Okay. The total amount of money I paid for all of those items together, cash money, mm-hmm. was two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, yeah. And the majority of that was for the PVM, but I'll get to that. Yeah. Um, I have since ditched everything but the little thirteen-inch RCA that has the built-in VCR because I still use it to watch tapes, and it's tiny and it's cute, and my right. kid watches tapes on it. It's just fun. It's got a little handle on the back. Nice. Um, it's neat. I did buy my PVM. For two hundred dollars, and it felt exorbitant at the time of purchase. (laughs) But I really wanted to understand the whole CRT PVM craze. I really wanted to get it because it was just kicking off, and I was like, "I don't fucking get this. How is this better than a CRT filter? How is it? Explain it to me." Yeah. And I will say, the PVM, which you now have, true, yeah, it's nice, was. Was and I'm sure still is a very nice CRT oh, that yeah. looked really super great. I love playing blazing lasers on there. It looks great. But I just never used the thing. Yeah. That's um, too. If I was playing anything for the show, which mm-hmm. is most of the time, I spend my time emulating because I want fast forward. I want rewind. I want True. cheats. I want ROM hacks. I want all that other shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also had constructed and was very proud of and I'm still very proud of my retro game cart that I put together. I remember that, yeah. That had my PVM, my GDM FW 900. It had all my retro game consoles all piped into my PVM. Didn't it have your big 36 inch TV on it at one point? At one point, because yeah. I could not find furniture that could sustain the weight. So right. I had to build it out of <laughs> expensive plywood yeah. and 400 pound caster wheels. Oof. Um, and I was so proud of it and it was so cool. Yeah. And I never fucking played anything on it. <laughs> And the the thing the the straw that broke the camel's back was um I believe it was Panzer Dragoon. We mm-hmm. covered Panzer Dragoon for the show. Yeah. That was a while um, ago. No, it was Castlevania Bloodlines, I think. Oh yeah, that's also good. It was Bloodlines. I was sitting there playing Bloodlines. I don't know. It was something. There was some fucking game where I was sitting there playing it on my my PVM with mm-hmm. my cart and everything all hooked up and right. I go I got to go emulate this. Yeah. There was some issue, some save state, some cheat, some right. fast forward, something I needed that I, I was like, man, the show's in a couple days. I need to get through this shit. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go fucking emulate this. And I ended up playing it on my my GPD uh, uh, XD, the little Android yeah, yeah. flippy uh, handheld emulator thing I have. Yeah. And I was doing that and I was like, why the fuck do I even have all that shit? <laughs> you know, like, it's cool. It's really cool. But every time I turn shit on, I have to fuss with all the fucking cables and adapters and get everything plugged in and make sure it's working right. And, oh, this isn't working. Oh, what input was on that? All right, this is a switch box connected to another switch box. And then I was like, well, I'll just take everything down and I'll just put my Wii with all my emulators on it. And then I've got everything. It's simple and it's all on one system. Right. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm still just fucking emulating again. Yeah. Why? <laughs> you know? So I I I I do want to say it was really cool. Yeah. But I also want to say that at the current prices of even consumer CRTs, mm-hmm. I cannot and do not recommend picking one up at all. No, not for not for anybody who doesn't have a very specific niche reason to have one. Now, I have been as far down as the rabbit hole goal goes, which is all the way to the bottom to professional monitors. Yeah. And CRTs have always been a great way and an easy way to get native signals. Right. For years. Yeah. And it was such a great way because it was it was either cheap or it was free. 